Hello, and welcome to Zim Docs. I'm Dr. Abstract. In this docs, we're going to take a look at the stage and stage GL. So let's go to the docs at zimjs.com slash docs.html. And if we scroll down, there's the stage and stage GL. Two for one. Now, we don't actually do anything with the stage, usually, because the stage is made for us by ZimFrame. So in ZimFrame, you can choose a normal stage, or you can pass in the GPU parameter here. Oh, let's just open that up. The GPU parameter right here to get a stage GL. So ZimFrame creates a stage for us, or indeed creates the stage GL for us. Uh, let's take a, a look and see how that is done. We'll pop on down to some code here. Zim stage, stage GL, we're bringing in the CreateJS and Zim 10. If we pop on down here, new frame, and that will make a stage for us. Indeed, that stage can be accessed via frame.stage. And from that point on, we assign it to a local variable called stage, and stage is where we put everything. So that's the main container, is the stage. The uh, stage needs to be updated so that you can see any changes. So there we have in the template a stage.update, and we can do something like a new rectangle. Whoa, where'd we go? New rectangle dot center on the stage dot drag, for instance. And then there's the stage.update. We view this in a browser, open in browser. And there is the rectangle on the stage. So uh, the Zim stage in, in the docs here is provided primarily so that we, we've added a, a few methods to the stage that the CreateJS stage doesn't have, such as being able to loop through all of the children on it. But usually you don't have to worry about the stage at all. Just know that uh, you're given it via the frame. Now, stage GL is a slightly different matter. Let's uh, try setting that. So what we're going to do is go into the Zim Duo technique here of the squiggly brackets. Normally, you would say colon scaling here, and or or you could hard code the word here now, fit, etc. Uh, but we'll make use of the ES6 just so it's a little bit faster. ES6, if what you were going to put there in the colon, colon scaling for instance, is the same as the name of the property, then you can leave it out. And indeed, we've called each of our variables, it turns out, the same name as the properties. <laughs> so we're kind of lucky there. We can go comma GPU uh, colon true. So by default, the GPU is false, but now we're adding uh, a property to the frame here, the GPU true. When we do that, we have to be careful because we'll no longer see our rectangle. It's gone. With GPU, everything that the GPU stage shows needs to be a bitmap. So it needs to be either a bitmap image or come from a sprite sheet or it could be cached. So uh, the technique we tend to use would be to dot cache that like so. And that will cache the rectangle, uh, which is a shape, um, uh, a shape, a vector shape. So it's going to cache that as a bitmap, and therefore the GPU stage will be able to see that. So we refresh. No, first we save, we save, and we refresh, and now the rectangle is back again as a GPU stage. So you've got to watch that. If you were to add, say, a label, the same deal, you would have to cache the label. If you go and make a new emitter, this is a particle emitter, and you um, try putting that on the stage, dot center reg on the stage. Let's comment that one out. You would have no problem if the GPU is false. So we save that up. There's the new emitter. Um, added to a stage, we refresh here, there goes the emitter, but if you um, turn the GPU on to true, you won't see the particle emitter emitting. So no particles unless in the emitter you say cache colon true, 
in which case the emitter is making sure that everything it makes is cached. And therefore you would see uh, the circles again being emitted. And this is handy because the GPU is faster um, so we can emit, oh, I don't know, num colon 10 of these things. And the time is interval, I think, interval colon uh, 20 milliseconds. So that's quite fast. And let's see what happens when we uh, try that out. And, and you're getting instantaneous GPU-based performance uh, from that. Will you notice? It's hard to say. Let's go to false there. We won't bother caching here. False and refresh this. There are those ones. We refresh. You know, didn't notice yet, really. So um, there are times, though, where under sort of extreme generative art or lots of lots of stuff going on that you might want your GPU power. So that would make a different type of stage, a stage uh, GL. All right, that is taking a look at the stages for the Zim Docs. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day. Come on in and join us at thezimjs.com slash Slack if you want to hang out with us. Um, say hello, show some examples, see some examples, etc. Ciao.